we're depending on people to report to us and be and be truthful and honest. That's how these investigations work. The term contact tracing is being used more and more as public health officials work with the community to stop the spread of coronavirus. But what exactly is it? And we talk to them about um, when they became ill, and then we really get into the details of um, who they were in direct contact with when they were symptomatic, and also the 48 hours prior to developing symptoms. Public health officials then reach out directly by phone. And we will actually call those contacts and talk to them about um, their risk for COVID, if they have any symptoms, and what they should do if they develop symptoms. Public health clinic manager Stacy Gregg has a team of about eight people at Jackson County Public Health. For them, even though working from home is new, the work is familiar. We actually do contact tracing with most of our communicable disease cases. So doing it for Corona um, or COVID-19 isn't really out of the norm for us. It's what we typically do. The work is important, Greg says, and it can be misunderstood. Community spread isn't what many think. When we're thinking about community spread, we look specifically at close contact, and that's actually um, defined as contact within six feet of someone for over an hour. So Greg and her team aren't looking at brief interactions in the community, like exchanging money with a cashier. COVID-19 is not as, say, communicable as something like measles, where we would put that information out in the community about where persons had been. 